Greetings commanders, this is Pig and Horde, and this is the 12th episode of Phantom Brigade. You may notice a few things have changed since the last one. Uh, this is because I think this will be the conclusion of the uh, full playthrough of Phantom Brigade. It's because I kind of reached a ceiling in terms of progression, and I fairly know what to do and what to expect from the AI in each battle. Coupled with the sheer size of the map, uh, doing all of that is not gonna be YouTube gold so I've reached like a bit of a ceiling and in this uh, video what I'm gonna do is show you a what I consider an easy battle and a hard battle mostly due to uh, the randomly generated start of the mission as well as uh, what the enemy AI will do so let me explain to you the easy and hard battle in my opinion and after that we're gonna go through a little conclusion about the game. Now, please understand that I absolutely love this game, and it is a budget title, really, and an indie budget title, so for the $30, it's absolutely worth the price of admission, and I cannot wait to see what happens when modders get their hands on this game. But for now, doing a complete playthrough where the battle gets a wee bit repetitive is not uh, practical. So let me show you those two battles. And what I think, why, why I think one is hard and one is easy, and then we'll do a little conclusion at the end. See you in a moment. All right, now this is what I would consider a easier mission, simply for the fact that where we landed, there is ample cover to uh, take immediate action. As you can see, the the strength, both the strength and the limit of the AI, is that it's very aggressive. It comes at you straight away from the moment you land. However, the uh, the limit is that they tend to target always just the first enemy or your unit they see. For example, if we take a look at this one, almost all the attacks are going on our assault rifle and shield mech right there. Four of them. And then uh, at the end there, one attack is on this mech, one of our rail gunners. So this is the limit that I mean is that once you... First thing you do when you land is that you check out who's being attacked. And then that means the other two in your arsenal are free to do as they please. For example, my heavy here. I can uh, freely set up a shot and start blasting. The second one that is that is not being attacked will be this other rail gunner. And this is where the rail gun shines because it can attack through buildings. It does not care. So if you have a mech like this with a good range and firing through building, you can just start wailing right away. Now you just have to take care of the ones that are being attacked. That's the only one who has to play defensive. The other ones are free to engage. So I'm just going to move this one a bit ahead, which will negate the incoming attack. And since this is another rail gunner, well, well, rail gun don't care. I'm going to fire through buildings at our attacker right here. So the only one that I have to care about is her. But most of these shots are being blocked. We just have to be careful with the incoming missile. There's a few of them. So we're going to move this way. Set up a little dash. Trying to avoid missile and all that. And we're going to strike back against the missile tank right here. So this is what I mean by once you figure out the, the pattern of the AI, it gets a bit easier because you know they're all going to target the first two mech in the front that they see. And after that, if you have a setup where you can fire through buildings or heavy weapons that you can just point and click, it you get the pattern. So as we ex execute this, we should be avoiding most of the damage while doing a lot of our own through the buildings and all that. Now the limit of the railgun is that they do less damage the more buildings they go through. So you're not doing optimal damage. 
when you're doing that strategy, but you are aiding them while they cannot hit you. And that's what matters. So now I now when you get to the second round, then the AI will start reacting by attacking Moomhever they are in their they have in their range on the uh, after the, the, the after the movement. So now you can do it individually. So now I'm gonna take care of this one because uh, you're being attacked this way. And I'm gonna move you out. I'm gonna fire while I do that, I will fire again on the same tank. Just like that. So you, Railgunner, you're not getting targeted at all because you're not in their line of sight. If you're not in their line of sight, they won't they will not care about you. And so the railgun will not care. Both of them will not. Let's start laying down some hurt. Now, the only one that I have to be careful now is our heavy, because he is now in the target range of two enemies. So we're just gonna move him away. For this turn, you're gonna play defensive. There you go. And you can keep on doing this uh, dance, because next turn they will target whomever is in their range. I'm just heating, heating some missile here, because these guys are really hard to avoid. But we got the tank. So this is a mission that I would consider somewhat easy because we have good cover. So uh, if you have good cover, you can see the pattern of what the AI will attack and thus you have a good fighting chance. So what is this guy firing? He's firing incendiary. So I'm just gonna move this way. I'm gonna use the shield. So my current setup, that I have not moved from that setup for a while now, I have one mobile unit with a shield. I have uh, two rail gunners that just uh, sit back and attack. And I have one heavy weapon. This setup has served me well thus far. I just keep attacking them. It's not doing a lot of damage, but it's consistent and you can afford you can afford never to get hit when you play like that. I just have to be careful with this one. I'm going to go behind this building and I will not care. Now about our heavy, our heavy is getting attacked a wee bit, but not that much. So he's just going to get up here and blast this guy. He's gonna take a wee bit of return fire, but that is fine. So as you can see, I'm not doing that much damage through the buildings, but it certainly adds up. And you can play this game uh, that the, the computer will be chasing you, going through to their uh, the closest target, and you can play the game of just hitting them uh, behind cover. This guy is crashing, but he's not dead. Let's make sure he is. Now this guy is getting blasted. We'll just keep doing that. And there you go. You kind of you kind of get the the, the idea. That is why uh, I think at this point it's not worth it showing every battle and as a complete playthrough because it's, this is what I've, I've been doing for some time now. So I'm just going to pull back. You can still fire while when you pull back and it's going to limit the damage uh, that the shotgun does. The shotgun as is very limited in terms of range and I'll keep firing back at it. Stream of bullets going down. I'm not going to take too much damage because of range. And this poor dude is just still getting hit through through the, the buildings. And now his chest armor is almost done. 
The building do get destroyed after a while. For example, I'm going to have to move him this time. So for you, the tank is done. Completely done. And you can focus on the other tank, which is uh, targeting you uh, by the same time. So we're just going to go behind this building. We're going to wait out this attack. While I'll put a shield up in case uh, the bullet stream starts getting... Whoa, 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 whoa. In case the bullet stream starts getting through the building, which is possible. And then I'll pop back out. And land an attack here. Cool. So, uh, for you, I'm gonna have to move you a bit. Just keep hitting this guy. And you, you will have to move. Now, you just have to be careful with railguns because since they go through things, if you pass in front of the uh, friendly fire, you're going to get hit. So, watch the, the blue, the line here. When it becomes blue, that's when the railgun fires. So I would be clear if I just move this way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get away from this fire. And now I'm gonna go for optimal range on the tank instead. But uh, still, kill, keep railgunning. Now this duel will keep going. Apparently he's happy he's just staying there in the bone stream and we will let him only took a wee bit there you go so this guy is now ejecting he's done uh, they start wanting to eject when the um, the chest armor is almost gone the chest being where the pilot is so when they get to 20% uh, or less chest armor, the pilot doesn't want to die and start ejecting, which is makes total sense. We So we only have this tank to care about, because the other one is ejecting. And thus we shall. We're just gonna stand and shoot, because I'm fairly sure we can finish it before it starts uh, being a, a problem. And there you go, railgun mode. So as I've been advancing the playthrough, I've been this is the strategy that I've been using for uh, for a good ten hours now. Just one heavy, two railguns, and one uh, defensive moving, uh, fast moving rate. There we go. So we got it. Railgun don't care. Very good. So this is what I would consider an easy battle. Ish. Uh, because Simply because we have all the cover we needed to uh, simply avoid the incoming attack. The difficulty is always front loaded when all the enemies charge at you and target uh, the first the mech in front. That mech in front is usually in danger. So the difficulty is a bit front loaded. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, now this is a good example of what I consider to be a much harder mission. Coincidentally, those are often uh, convoys, because convoys tend to be in open terrain with the road and the highway and all that. So what happens is with we spawn here with absolutely no cover, and all of these enemies are slamming us like this, and we're gonna be in survival mode because there's no cover which uh, makes it much harder so that's what I meant by um, where you land on the randomly spawned uh, start of the mission is what dictates a lot of the difficulty and uh, convoys are the hardest in my uh, in my humble opinion so we're gonna try to get this one done uh, there's a lot of missile as well to try to dash out of the way so it's gonna make things a wee bit complex. So compared to uh, 
another mission where there would be some cover right now all of our mechs are being targeted instead of just one or two because of this the open terrain so let's go one by one let's try to make them survive so you are being targeted mostly by missiles and one direct attack near the end of the round missiles are very hard to time as to when to dash the way to avoid them is to dash but it is quite hard to time so let's get up here and let's do an attack at optimal range let's do second one then let's move out uh, pardon me just move let's put the wait command until the second attack is done then i'm gonna move behind this rock which will avoid the direct fire and then i will dash out hopefully this will dodge the missile but the dodge of the missile is really hard to time like for example they're firing there it's gonna take them fairly like two seconds two to three seconds to reach me so i'm hoping that the dash here will provide uh, evasion all right so i'm gonna do the other one that is on the side which is the assault this is the one that is taking the less least amount of punishment because it's on the side here so i may be able to be aggressive with her i'm gonna move forward using the shield to try to avoid this direct attack but from there i can probably land something like this cool so you are being targeted near the end by a heavy this guy is a heavy right da -da -da. yeah and that's what i meant by open terrain like this is difficult because now we have a heavy uh, targeting a Vulcan on us and there's not much cover so you will have not no much much choice but to play completely defensive uh, I'm gonna go in the back like this and I'm but I'm still getting hit so I'm gonna move further behind this rock this should do it and railgun don't care I'll strike back it's not gonna do as much damage uh, rail guns will suffer damage penalty when they go through a dense object like uh, this hill but I'm still gonna hit it so I will take it now our heavy is being targeted by this tank and this tank uh, wields an auto cannon okay so I will try to use range and you see one of the other difficulty of this spawning spot is that I I'm, cannot go back. This is the end of the map. So there's only on the side of toward the enemy, which is uh, limited, to say the least. So I will do my best. I'm going to take a wee bit of damage, including probably some missile because there's no room to uh, dodge or cover. So let's see how that goes. Hopefully we survive the first round. The rail attack was successful. Getting some damage. Ugh. You know, I wasn't able to dodge any of the missile. Timing of missile is really hard. Yeah. Okay. So are you being targeted again? Probably not, because you are too far away. That's a good part, at least. Oh, you know, you're still being targeted by this tank. Let's go behind this hill. And uh, let's start fighting back. This unit is concussed. We have at least a kill, a confirmed kill. So we'll definitely take it. And we have some unit crashing as well. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so you are taking both of these fire. And you're gonna have to do your best to avoid it. Which will probably mean dashing this way. Then going behind that hill. Does that work? It appears so. 
It's not leaving us much room to be to make an offensive move. But at least this unit will be safe. Now, you are behind this hill. Uh, the incoming stream of bullets from the uh, enemy heavy is still coming in. So you won't have much opportunity to move. We're gonna strike back uh, railgun style. I know there's some missile incoming here, but uh, I don't know when they will be coming, the timing and all that. So our heavy is surprisingly not being targeted. So we're gonna move forward and we're gonna get into a better range to kill either one of these. Let's target the tank. I should be able to uh, kill the tank with uh, one volley. All right. Let's see how that goes. Oh, we're still getting hit. Ow. Yeah, here comes the missile. Ah. Lost an arm. So, I think you're starting to see my point. When you start in a place uh, with your back against the wall and no cover, you're in for a rough ride. So, I'm gonna pop back out with you. And now I have a free reign. Now, this pilot is concussed. No, that one. To go behind this guy's back. So I will enjoy that. You are okay behind your hill. You're not being targeted this time around. So get up there. And start getting rid of some tanks. Hopefully it's gonna shoot through and uh, hit multiple target. So you lost your main weapon. So you will not be very efficient for the rest of this fight, sadly. Uh, but you don't appear to be targeted now. So if I go up here, can I do I have a shot with the pistol? I do. Let's take it then. Let's pursue this guy. Stay behind. Keep attacking. Keep moving. Oh, where if I do that, I might take some flak from here. Yeah, this tank is after us. But I'm gonna bet that that tank will be destroyed by the time we get here. I, uh, I'm gonna take the bet. And I will attempt to do a third handgun attack. Cool. So heavy. You will be targeted by the enemy heavy this time. So that will be uh, 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 impossible to dodge. So I'm going to pull out. Then dash over there. And try to take refuge where are uh, behind the hill. All right, no cover equals difficult. Let's see how that goes. Attacking in the back here is working. We crashed it and we crashed into it. Crap. Okay, but I, it seems to be that we've got him. But now this unit is in real trouble. Okay, so the enemy Evie is apparently ignoring us. So I think it's time to... Uh... Oh, I lost my weapon? How? Let's replay this. Oh, missiles. Missiles, missiles, missiles. Okay. Now she's fairly useless, sadly. This pilot is ejecting. That is good. We at least succeeded in getting this guy off. And then the only thing last, last, blah, 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 left is the heavy. Cool. So. So, so, so. You are the one being targeted by the heavy. 
So you're gonna go down there. Actually, you're gonna go all the way over there, if you can. I mean, if we dash, because this unit has a very nice dash. Let's get out of it. Get out of there. So you are out of weapon. You are crashing, but you still have your little pistol. So you can try and get into range. For next turn, maybe even do a little attack uh, with bad range. Better than nothing. Now my heavy. I can cancel this movement. Go back out there. Lane into him. Yep, I know. Okay. Unit is crashing again. For reason unknown. I think she ran into the dying mech. Reason unknown. Okay. I'm still gonna take damage here, it's not gonna be perfect. So it's gonna be up to our heavy to finish it off. Because uh, the only thing you can do is stay hidden. Even if that's not gonna be perfect. I can try and see maybe if I can uh, avoid it further by... ...going as far as I can. The rest of the units are now not very useful. Yeah. So you can crash into enemies that are on the floor. That's interesting. So let's do that. I know. Alright, we got you. You're crashing again. Alright, well, you, you see why when you start a battle with your back to the wall and no cover, it's much, much harder. No matter uh, how good you are or what kind of team you have, this is what uh, does a difficulty spike and it is often in convoy mission. So join us next, I'm gonna do a little conclusion. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about the uh, end game, maybe, for the, this game. See you in a moment. Very well, so in conclusion, this will be it for the play-by-play, uh, -play, complete playthrough of Phantom Brigade. Uh, I will continue playing, and I will record the end game of capturing the Capital District. That is my plan. I uh, will record a bit of the max level end game, as well as the conclusion of the game. And uh, so please let me know in a comment what you prefer if you would like more Phantom Brigade comment, content or perhaps something else to be showcased on this channel. But for now it's going to be the end of that one. And uh, let me know in a comment what you think. Please do the like and subscribe, the usual jazz. And thank you for watching. See you next time.